Hello. Tyler. Yo. What's up, man? It's Little D from SMS Racing. No way. What's up, Little D? What's going down? Man, there's a lot going down, and uh, I need to know if you're in or out. <laughs> I'm in, dog. I'm always down. I was born down, dog. All right, so check this out. Next weekend, we're doing the SMS Baja Bonanza Year 2. It's going to be epic. It's supposed to rain. So I need you down here next weekend. We're going to hit up San Diego Supercross, watch Villapoto dominate. Then we're going to head to Mex the next day, go ride with guys like Jeremy McGrath, Daniel Laporte, even Kendall Norman. So I need a killer film guy to come film all the shenanigans. Are you in? Wow. I think I can handle that one, dog. I'm ready to roll. That sounds awesome. Let's bring it on, dog. I'll talk a little bit. All right, cool. Later, sounds buddy. good. All right, late. Baja Bonanza, baby, 2011. What? Second round. Here we go. Woo. Go out, spit some laps, do some wheelies on the beach, and just have a good time. Try not to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, Chariso. I'm ready to do this. The sun's popping out. It's a little bit cold when we woke up this morning. FMF attacked my truck. But uh, we made it to our first spot. This is where we're gonna leave the trucks. We're gonna go hit the trail. I think we're actually gonna hit the Baja 500 race course going backwards, and uh, it's all fun. It's perfect. Check it out. about 30 miles into the FMF Baja Bonanza and right now we got about 50 riders hanging out right above the Pacific Ocean which uh, in California or many other places it's tough to find places to ride so we got single track, two track and graded roads right here. It's pretty magical to tell you the truth and my boy Tim Morton here from Baja Bound Moto, he's the trail boss today making it happen. Tim, thanks buddy. Eee! Coming up on Punta Cabras. Life is good. Oh, so far so good. I made it 30 miles and not crashed, so what can I say? Already better than last year. It's wet, chocolate cake, single track. Look at this group hanging out everywhere. Look at that. That's pretty epic. Time for some more popping wheelies. Cause I knew by her wrist Daring me to expose Life is seductive Cause we knew our time Would slowly fade away She's acting different Well our fearless
Clueless leader Cameron uh, decided that uh, it was a good idea to you know, take everyone across, so we were gonna cut a trail, and uh, he didn't get very far. He got maybe like 10 feet. And now he wants me to go help him, which means my boots are gonna be soaking wet, and we still have like 110 miles to ride today. My, my rear tire not looking forward to this at all. In the sand, all the way to the top. Uh, it's not moving until you wait out here and help me, Tim. I'm about to be the laughing stock of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's in there like cement right now. This isn't exactly as I planned it. This love is above me, cause all I think about is the moment that we share. She was so innocent, but I knew from a time she stepped in out of the shell. Laughing so to your friend. step down onto this secret beach. Tons of carnage. The step down always catches a couple guys. It's only two feet, but you know, they, they step down, they get a little squirrely, and then they don't get on the gas over the bars. And then of course, you gotta roost them if they're down. That's just the way we do it. And then you gotta do this hill climb right here as well to get out of the beach. So we'll, uh, we'll watch some more of the boys take aim at it. such a great time today because we did a little bit of everything you know we kind of I didn't think the whole day would take eight hours or nine hours to do 150 miles but it around a lot you know okay and then at the end it was really fun because they had it we found this uphill got to the top we were looking at the view we all dove down the back side of it and I don't know who started one somebody went up the hill one time and then we started climbing and for at least a half hour we did the total you know mountain hill climb competition so it was, it was bitchy. It was sick. Yeah. Bloody, fun. I'll take every scratch I got for that day. It was good. I thought it was pretty funny <laughs> that I actually got to see film guru Kyler, yes, you right behind the camera, just explode yourself into a ditch. So I got the oh. luxury of actually seeing that, and <laughs> you will see that. We got to ride her down on this uh, single track. You've seen the first half of the FMF Baja Bonanza. If you thought that was cool, tune in next week for day two. Check it.